The siege of Marawi in southern Philippines took a heavy toll on the city's fishing and agricultural sectors. The impact continues to be felt a year after troops took back the city. Channel News Asia's Manila team visited the city recently to give us this report. The siege in Marawi destroyed not just homes, but also the heart of its fisheries and agricultural sector. It's made it difficult for the city to produce its own food. So, ang nangyari po, yung 23 big rice mills po dyan sa Ground Zero, lahat po yan nasira, lahat tinamaan ng bomba. So, ang naging problem during that time din ay paano po mapapamil ng mga farmers yung kanilang uh, mga palay, no? Kasi hindi na nila madala sa, sa Marawi kasi karamihan sa mga munisipyo po walang mga rice mill. The government tried to address this gap by providing farmers with mobile rice mills or potable smaller mills. But the problem also extends to other areas such as a lack of storage for agricultural goods. Minsan nasisira na kung hindi na mabinta doon talagang kuan. If farmers like Jawad have nowhere to store their produce, fisher folk like Amua Batuana have no commodities to sell in the first place. Yung pagbalik namin, yung bahay namin, lahat nawala, wash out lahat. Tsaka yung nagiyak yung misis ko tsaka yung mga ano, umiyak kami dahil nakita namin itong pispa namin. Wala na yung isda talaga at tsaka yung hanap po namin, doon namin kinukuha talaga. The World Food Programme says 35% of the 300,000 people affected by the five months of conflict in Marawi suffer from moderate to severe food insecurity. But the government has yet to determine the magnitude of the problem as a collection of the baseline data from the agriculture and fisheries sectors has barely begun. As of now, uh, developing na yung ano, yung, we are still developing about the food security of the uh, people. So, uh, nag-start na ang kami ngayon. To help, the government has given Marawi's 2,000 fishermen fishing equipment and distributed seedlings to its 5,000 rice and corn farmers. The bigger challenge lies through in convincing some of the farmers to go back to planting. Ay malaki kasi tulad ngayon wala nang mataniman kasi natakot tayo kapag may baka may bumbad yan. And although Marawi's fishermen have been given some equipment, this is far from enough. Uh, usually, na binibigay kung nabibigyan sila ng one unit per fisherman what is one unit uh, one yung isang household kasi ang kinoconsider na pag sinasabi ko fisher isang fisherman uh, ano yan uh, head of the family so kung isa lang ang paraphernalia na binibigay sa kanya ang nakukuha lang niya per day is 1 kilo what is 1 kilo only 100 100 pesos eh so hindi pa yan sapat sa isang kanta na rice before the siege, Marawi was able to produce not just food for its people, but for the whole province of Lanao del Sur. But today, impaired infrastructure and fears over safety are impeding efforts to fortify the city's food basket. It's a multi-layered problem that must be unpacked soon, as the survivors of the siege cannot move forward on empty stomachs. ILO Channel News Asia, Marawi.